Hello, Spicy Groovers. Nice to um, be posting another video today. You'll notice that I haven't posted for a while, uh, and that's because um, it's a lot has happened. And also, I've just been really busy building this bad boy over here. And I'll talk to you about this in, um, in this video and how we built our own custom drum enclosure. See you soon. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Spicy Grooves. Now you can see something next to me, which is the drum enclosure. And this is what I'll be talking to you about today. I'm gonna to give you a full tour of what it looks like on the inside and how we kind of built it. So we didn't have the resources or the money to spend, you know, huge amounts of pounds on drum enclosure. So if you don't know, I'm currently at my local church and we decided that we're gonna build something ourselves. And, you know, it was much more challenging than we expected. Like we did not expect it at all, um, but it got done. I'll tell you all the materials that we used, um, as well as what we were thinking when we were, you know, trying to build this thing and some of the challenges that we came across. As you can see, the frame of our drum enclosure is pretty wooden. Um, however, you can see that the exterior aspect of it is made with uh, polycarbonate, so clear polycarbonate. The first thing that we did when we wanted to begin this was to plan this. So we had to plan the amount of wood we would need, um, the types of wood we would need. Um, we had to plan the thickness of the uh, polycarbonate that we would need, um, as well as what would be holding the weight and everything else that goes with it. So we use uh, three different types of wood to build this. We used the OSB board, um, smooth board from B&Q. Uh, we also used some um, cheap CLS timber. We also used um, a stick timber as well, a bit thicker. So the stick timber was used for whatever we expect the weight to be rested on. So to distribute the weight from the top of it right to the floor. So what you can see here is a two meter by two meter enclosure. So it's two meter wide, two meter tall, and two meter deep, essentially. Um, and thank goodness it fits the drums quite nicely. So we had to change the rack for the drums. Um, otherwise our um, previous rack wouldn't have worked. Like it took too much space. Anyway, so the first thing we did was we cut out our two meter by two meter from the OSB board. And then we uh, worked out um, how we're gonna build the platform using the CLS wood. Um, and then after doing that, what we did was then to support um, the weight for the roof, as well as the bottom with the stick timber um, that goes across four sides of it. So here at the other end, right at the back and the, the other end of the back. And then we also used some, um, some hardwood plywood. Yeah, so you can see that here. Um, so basically what this is, is it's quite flexible, so it allows bending. Um, and then that was pretty crucial to uh, what we wanted to do to achieve that professional finish. Otherwise you'll see some stuff that you don't really want to see right at the top and at the bottom there. Um, and finally, the most important part was we used this. Now this is a Powson uh, four millimeter uh, polycarbonate. And it was very crucial that it had the properties to bend essentially because we wanted a arch in front of the drum enclosures. We bought three different sizes of polycarbonate. So we have this uh, two meters by 2.4 um, that spans across the front of it to form the curve. And then we have on either side, uh, I believe a 1.1 meter by two meters, um, just to block off each side so that we can, I can really see the singers when they're singing through here rather than it being covered by wood. Um, so yeah, I think the most challenging part of this project was getting the uh, size of the um, curve perfectly. Um, there was a website that we used. I'll put the website down in the link below to help you calculate it. However, 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 that website can also be wrong slightly. Um, so initially we measured 2.7 meters by two meters um, for the arch. Um, However, when we finished building the uh, frame, 
and we realized that um, it wasn't quite 2.7, so we had to remeasure. And what we actually did was we just took a long wire, like a plug, electrical wire or something, and then we, someone stood at the edge of, um, of the curve holding it, and then I stood at the other end holding it, and then we took that to a measuring tape to figure out exactly the length of um, our curve, and then bam, we ordered it. So that would be the most challenging part. And I would advise you that if you were to build a drum enclosure, a custom one like this, um, to order the plastic last. So you don't want to order the plastic unless you've completed the frame, okay? Because you could get the sizes wrong because a plastic is the most expensive part of this entire thing and you do not want to get that wrong. So I would advise you finish the frame and then measure the, um, the arch um, or the arc that you want to build and then order after that because then you know that it's certain. All right, without further ado, I'll give you a tour. <laughs> So yeah, that is how we built our custom drum enclosure. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more, remember to subscribe, to like the video, and also to hit that notification bell so that you will know when my next video is available. All right. God bless you.